Hi there. Now this is a follow-up to my previous tutorial where we were looking at terms in expressions and equations. And I've got 10 questions here for you to try where what I want you to do is circle the terms in the following. So just give you a few moments to pause the video, have a go, and when you come back I'll show you the answers. Okay? Right, welcome back then if you had a go. So obviously fast forward if you just want to uh, quickly check the answers but I'll take you through the solutions now slowly. Okay so with question one you should find you have got four terms. Those terms are the 5x, the minus 2, the plus x and the minus 3. You've got two x terms and two constants. Okay, with number two, with this one, 4x minus 3 all over 5. We end up with one term, remember, when you've got a division like this. Okay, the numerator contains two terms, the 4x and the minus 3, and the denominator contains one term, the constant 5. But altogether, the answer, though, is one term. With this next expression, you should have had two terms. We've got all of 2 times x minus 1 and then we've got the second term this fraction here plus 4 over x. Question number 4 with this equation now you should have three terms you've got on the left hand side of the equal sign you've got the first term the x term 3x or plus 3x remember second term plus 5 and then on the right hand side of this equation, we've got one term, okay? All of 2x minus 1 divided by 4. Here we have another equation, and in this one, we've got two terms. On the left hand side of the equation, you've got the one term here, three lots of x plus 5. And on the right hand side of the equation, you've got four lots of x minus 2. Okay, another equation for 6 you should have four terms in this. We've got a fraction here, so that's one term. You've got the minus x for two terms. And we've got the 3x for the third term and the constant minus 4 for your fourth term. In this equation, number 7, there's two terms. This fraction here all of x minus 3 over x plus 4 and then on the right hand side of the equation the constant 5 or plus 5. Number 8, remember I showed you in the previous video that if you have a square root round a number of terms here it becomes one term. Okay, Inside the square root sign we might have two terms as in this example but nonetheless the square root wraps them all up Okay, as one term. Then you've got minus x as your second term and then the constant plus 1 as your third term. Number 9, we've got another equation here. Again, in the previous video I showed you that if you were multiplying two brackets, for instance, this created one term here. So that's your first term. Second term is minus x and your third term in this equation is the 4 or plus 4. And finally, with question 10 in this equation, you've got one term on this fraction on the left hand side of the equals. On the right hand side of the equals, you've got two terms, the 2x, or you could think of it as plus 2x, and you've got this second term, all of minus x plus 1. Okay? So, Hopefully you got all 10 correct, but if you didn't, at least I hope that you've been able to see where you may have gone wrong. Okay, 